Thanks, Steve. While Storm Team 5 keeps a close eye on the radar this evening, our crews are out in your neighborhoods as storms roll in. We begin with Charlie Keegan in suburban Delray Beach. I'm Charlie Keegan in suburban Delray Beach, where the rain is really starting to taper off over the last 15 minutes or so, but it has left its mark. The intersection, the traffic signal at this intersection behind me is not working. This is Jog Road and Linton Boulevard again in suburban Delray Beach. Crews are actually on scene right now working to fix this. But as you can imagine, drivers are honking the horns. You might be able to hear it in the background. There is a lot of confusion at this intersection and the rain. It doesn't help the cause. As a reminder, drivers should treat non-working signals as a four-way stop sign. Now, I have calls in with police and the FPL to find out if there are other traffic signals that might be out as a result of this storm. When we get that information, we'll pass it along to you to help you be safe out there on the roads. In suburban Delray Beach, Charlie Keegan, WPTV News Channel 5. I'm live from Sanskrit Park where the rain has just let up, but I've also been seeing countless boats dock early because those aboard them say what they fear most is lightning. Let's go to some video of these three friends who set out for a day of fishing around 8 this morning. They've been following the weather closely. When they heard about storms and lightning headed this way, they ended their trip early. They say they wanted to make sure they were back on land before the severe weather moves in. Yeah, it's this cell coming in. It's to the south and to the north, so we don't want to get trapped between the two cells. It's pretty uncomfortable, and that's kind of miserable. So. And the group wasn't just concerned about their safety. Another concern if a thunderstorm rolls in are the electronics getting destroyed that are aboard their boat. A risk, they say, they're not willing to take. We're live from Sanskrit Park. Gabrielle Saran, WPTV News Channel 5. Especially on weather alert days, it's always good to have the Storm Shield app on your telephone.